Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear sister. The message reads like this, Hello brother Nanshi, how are you? Can you please post my own story? as hidden identity me coming here on your platform i just want to encourage people to pray and they need to know that out there the devil is at work so this is my own confession i have been carrying this burden for too long and it is time for me to let the truth out so i work for a company on the surface when you look at this company that i am working for but this company it is under an international organization and we are based here in south africa on the surface it seems harmless fun even when i got this job opportunity traveling from zim coming to south africa i thought that they had chosen me because of what was on my cv i was really heartbroken at the end of the day when i realized that they just chose me because they thought that me being a foreigner then it means that i won't be able to expose them on the surface this company it is like harmless fun even we make pink wigs the kind that you see at parties concerts or on social media now we have been dealing with a lot of social media influences lol let me just laugh if you were a, w- a woman maybe we would have donated one wig for you brother nashi you could have become a, one of our social media influences we mainly target those that are on tiktok they are bright playful and they have become become incredibly popular and some of them they are mixed blue pink and green but what people don't know is the dark secret behind these wigs and it's a truth that haunts me each and every day the company started like any other with a simple idea to create vibrant colorful wigs that would stand out from the rest but as the business ahead as it grew the pressure to stay ahead of the competition it was mounted on our ceo a man driven by ambition and greed a man who is not even scared to tell you that he works directly not for god but for the devil this man is from brazil he began to explore unconventional ways to give us an edge in the market that was when things took a turn into the sinister i remember the day he called us into a meeting eyes alight with a strange almost feverish excitement he told us that he had found a way to guarantee our success to make our weeks the most sought after product in the world at first i could not understand what he was talking about but as he explained a cold dread settled in my stomach he had made a pact a deal with dark forces promising them something in return for success beyond our wildest dreams the deal was simple but horrifying he would be cursed and each and every week there will be a a demon that would accompany this week a powerful energy that would influence the woman that will be wearing even a man since these days even men they do wear these wigs the more people who would wear our wigs the stronger the curse will become spreading like a virus through the population at first it seemed impossible like something out of a horror movie when i heard it but when he showed us the results we saw that the graph the cells they were skyrocketing almost overnight celebrities we saw they were also wearing our wigs this was after our social media influencers started posting them making them a big trend across southern africa people could not get enough of them and we kept on giving some of the hairdressers so as to sell them on facebook marketplace and on tiktok and it started really small customers reporting strange nightmares after wearing the wigs i still remember that we had one social influencer that we had to hash up with a lot of money i'm not sure how much this girl was given but from what i have heard she was given 400k underneath the table no deals were signed cash like cash cash so that she can keep quiet i just had this as a rumor so this is what i had this young social media influencer and she's popular on tiktok after she started wearing these wigs doing a dance challenges that was when she started have started having feelings of paranoia anxiety and she would claim that she was hearing some whispers 
of people that were telling her that she was not alone and there was a legion of demons that were coming to possess her. There were thousands and thousands of more people she said that were going to come to attack her. And then she said that she started to hear voices. This was when she was standing at the balcony and she was said to have had a voice that told her to jump and she was not going to die. The voice even told her that to throw the glass bottle that she was holding that was full of wine to see if indeed if it was going to break this girl it was said that she threw that glass bottle and when she saw that it did not break that was when she was convinced that it was far much better for her to follow what the voice had been telling her when she was about to jump that was when her boyfriend opened the door that led to the balcony and saw her and he really got so scared so when the issue was reported back to us then the company brushed it off she was someone who is known to be bipolar maybe that was the reason as to why she wanted to do that so brother nashi this is the truth that i am telling you this girl she was given a lot of money so that she can just keep quiet but when i have been following her videos i have since seen that she no longer wears those colorful wigs anymore on her tiktok videos then there was this other time when we went to this other party so when we went to that party there was one of my co-workers who had that same wig and after she had worn that wig she changed and i saw that she was withdrawn and at that time when she was like tipsy she then said that she wanted to go and sleep we then let her to go and sleep upstairs but i don't know there was something that kept on telling me to follow her upstairs so i followed this co-worker of mine upstairs what i saw brother nashi it is something that was like more out of a horror movie this co-worker of mine she was suspended in A by someone or something that I could not even see. The moment that I opened the door into the bedroom where she was sleeping, that was when she was dropped back onto the bed and she fell really hard. The next day she was complaining and she was saying that her back, it was as if she was feeling that her back had been broken. But with what I saw that night, I tried to inform some of my colleagues and they told me that maybe I had had too much to drink but I know for a fact that my boss, my Brazilian boss, he is someone who is even claiming that he works directly for the devil he does not take any orders from anyone and even each and every time when we want to introduce a new wig into the market he always say that he is going to return back with the wig back to his country so that the wig can be prayed for when he comes back that is when we'll start to do a mass production of the 100% human hair. So after listening to that other confession, I just thought that it is far much better for me to come with my own story. I know that I am working for a man who is working directly for the devil. But anyway, the pay that I am getting, like it is just a lot of money. So I'm telling myself that at least if I can work right now, we are in 2024, 2025, then I am just going to resign. Anyway, even if I say that I am going to resign, they are always going to find someone else who will be willing to do this. So it does not matter. Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our dear sister. Strange things indeed do happen in this world. Sure. 